Hi everyone, this is Abby at Full House Salon and this is Halloween nail art jack-o'-lanterns. So I'm going to go ahead and start. I already pre-polished the nail uh, orange color and then I used a gold copper color and I did lines to make the 3D of how uh, jack-o'-lantern and pumpkins look. Then now I'm adding the eyes to the jack-o'-lantern and for the eyes I did a triangle but instead of a whole triangle I kind of circled it in the middle to give it a around how you kind of cut it and then for the nose I did a upside upside down triangle and then for the mouth I kind of visualize a smile but I didn't just draw a smile um, Kind of like a D, but upside down D, but you want to add teeth to it. On the, on the top, I did one teeth, and on the bottom, I added two teeth. And what you want to do um, is fill in the, all the insides yellow. That way, like when the jack-o'-lanterns are lit up for Halloween. So I am done with the inside of the candle look, general jack-o'-lantern. So now I'm outlining it with black. Black actually makes it pop more. So I just carefully go uh, went over the eyes. That's what I'm doing now. Like I said, it's a triangle, but in the center I kind of did two little a C and then like a half circle and a half circle to give it like the eyeball look. And then I'm just outlining the nose. And now I kind of am outlining. Um, the mouth of the jack-o'-lantern and just make sure be careful as you can um, practice if you like uh, before you do it but just go ahead and jump in there and do it I find it that it's much easier if you go ahead and you just do it and if you mess up you can try again practice makes better so and if you do go over your lines it's not a big deal because you can use like the orange to cover it back up or if you go in the black goes too far into the yellow you can cover it up like right here as you can see I went too far out in the or orange so I just use orange to kind of erase it and here I'm um, at the head I add the little stem and then I also am going to add a little um, twine for the jack-o'-lantern so it looks like it's fresh so I kind of did a upside down U and then I add another U and another U so it looks like it's intertwined but it's really not and then here I use a different color green to make the leaf and I just kind of make like a upside down triangle but very messy because I just kind of dot it to make it look like that leafy color then I go inside and then I make the inside of the leaf you know like straight down and give it like the skeleton and then I kind of frame it but I don't outline everything I just kind of tap tap and I like kind of just lightly touched it and then I finish it off with of course like a gold sparkle and then what you want to do is finish it off with top coat and clean your edges. I didn't quite clean it because I have other ones and do look forward to watching them because I have more than one Halloween tutorials. Uh, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Bye everyone!